everybody from Fernley, Nevada. We're sitting at Walmart. I just got done transferring all the files off the camera into my raw footage folder. And I'm going through the external hard drive to move all my flight videos into a separate folder. That way, if I got like dead time or you know what like what happened day before yesterday I huh, honestly forgot to record and that's what happened day before yesterday that's why it was so short I just plain forgot I don't know how I managed to just plain forget but I did but situation like that happens I can go back use old flight footage and whatever as a filler to give you a decent amount uh, oh, air freshener just tss, tss. 3,583 separate clips in this one folder wow <laughs> that's a lot of them to go through fortunately well what I'm doing is uh is basically scrolling down. For, uh, fortunately, the flight videos are relatively easy to find because they all start off real close to the ground. <laughs> you know, I'm either looking at grass, dirt, asphalt, or concrete from close up. So when I'm looking at the icons, it makes it relatively easy to find them. Uh, some of them they look like flight videos but they're not I have a couple of them that I uh, put the camera on the back of the trailer and those mess me up a little bit but I can uh, review them real quickly once they start up I'm set so I'm gonna get done going through these because I've been wanting to do this for quite a while then I'm gonna edit up yesterday and then I'm going to go lay down. Well, got that done. <laughs> Finally. Uh, 85 different flight segments that I spotted by going through relatively quickly. Took me about 40 minutes to go through that whole, <laughs> that whole folder on the external hard drive. But to give you an idea of how many clips a day I do, yesterday had 15 clips. Only three of them were me talking. The rest of them were road clips. Uh, a lot of it had to do with the nasty weather Chris went through yesterday. So she got a whole bunch of little short dash cam clips. Excuse me. But, uh, on average, between 10 and 20 clips a day that I have to edit up for one video. Now, what I do is when I, I pull the cards off the cameras, I don't plug the cameras into the laptop. Uh, pull the card, I transfer my files into a folder called Raw Footage. And that's the folder that I work off of when I'm editing. Then once editing is complete, it puts the finished uh, video into the raw footage folder. That way everything's right there together. Then I plug up my phone. I copy the file, the finished file, onto my phone and upload from my phone, which has unlimited data. Then I will rename all of the clips to the date. Now, I didn't always do that, okay? I started that not too long ago. But I'll rename all the clips to the date and then move them to the external hard drive. And I've been doing them all together. Mostly because I keep forgetting that 
I want to keep my flight video separate. So, I actually made a little bit extra work for myself because I kept forgetting to put it in that separate folder. But that way I have everything backed up. I can go back by a particular day. whatever, you know, I can just go through them, uh, primarily with the dash, uh, the dash videos, if I wanted to get something that, like a particular bridge or tunnel or something like that, that I may have uh, recorded, and this is for personal, I don't go back and pull up old files, unless I'm going to tell you on here. And then it'll usually be flight videos. So, that's basically how I do it.
cars parked all over the damn place and the truck parking spaces. But it's a truck stop. And they charge you to park. This is ridiculous. There's a car parking area over to the side. Why are they taking up our parking spaces? Parking is at a premium out in this area as it is. I find this despicable. Rude, inconsiderate, and all that other good stuff. That six slots, each of them taken up by a single car. Why? Okay, we're walking. I don't mind it. <laughs> we're on our way afterwards. to. We're on our way to eat. It's only about a quarter mile, <laughs> and we still hadn't decided yet. So. Uh, what? It's in here. Yeah, we're gonna. That's not even a quarter mile. That's not even half a block. It's zero point two seven miles. That's a quarter mile. And that was also coming from the person that says the fuel gauge was at three quarter tank and that isn't even a half. It's not. If you look <laughs> at the other Almost forgot. Here's our food. I was gonna tell you, but it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Chicken tikka masala, a milder version of chicken tikka masala. This is spinach with curry and cheese cubes, and garlic. Uh, crap, garlic, and yeah, basically it's bread. It's a flat bread, uh, garlic and parsley. That's it. <laughs> I'm brain cramping. But this food is good. And the time of day we're here, nobody else here. Uh, lunch rush just finished. So, but the food is dang good. Wow, that was a real good meal. Obviously, we're back at the truck. We did not go to either of the two places that were in the first clip. We went across the street. Uh, the Indian place that was in the first clip, their lunch buffet was over and didn't look too appetizing. Then the crab place, uh, that was right down there, they weren't quite open yet. So there were a bunch of restaurants across the street, so we walked across the street. And I would already had my mind made up, I wanted Indian or seafood. So we went to the Indian slash Pakistani restaurant across the street, which was much nicer than the one in the first clip. Excellent service, really clean. They treated you like you're in a five-star restaurant and the food was awesome wasn't it yes <laughs> what do you want? she wants up It to be around 50, 60 bucks. That's Only 35. Spicy. 
Yeah, her she <laughs> one we ordered. Okay, I ordered mine for a white guy. <laughs> she ordered hers kicked up like Mexicans eat it. Whew. Well, she forgets Indian food is extra spicy. So, uh, but it was well worth it. So, if you're ever at the Sacramento Valley Truck Stop, just walk to the little shopping center there, what? just north of here. And, uh, eat at the Pakistani Indian uh, restaurant there. Excellent, excellent food. Time to head out. Uh, we got 44 miles to our final delivery. And it's 10 after 2 a.m. So I'm going to head on. Got our next load assignment. We're picking up in King City, California. And going tomorrow, Georgia. For Tuesday delivery. It's a good paying run too. So that'll get us back down on the bottom where we belong. Just gonna let your tail do a little.